for question 20, you don't really have to rely on the passage. You just have to use logic to figure out which of the options could be the most plausible reason that the liquid was stirred. So which of these is a most obvious consequence of the liquid being stirred? Now we can see that A says to provide additional heat to the liquid. However, stirring a liquid would barely provide a negligible amount of heat. So it's not A. B says to ensure that the temperature was uniform throughout the liquid. And indeed, if you stir a liquid, then you're ensuring that the temperature around the whole liquid becomes constant. So the answer is B. And just to confirm, let's check C and D. C says to prevent the liquid from settling to the bottom of the container. However, stirring has no effect on whether the liquid settles to the bottom of the container or not. And D says to prevent the liquid from contacting the metal coil, which once again stirring has no effect on. So the answer is D.